The United People's Party on Thursday commemorated the birthday of the late Dr. Claude Wati. During the brief ceremony, the AC Wati Political Awareness Foundation, represented by Brenda Wati, the family members, the United People's Party President Franklin Myers, and the board of the party, represented by Gina Illich and Stuart Johnson, placed wreaths in front of the statue at the Government Administration Building. Family members, however, are not pleased with the Democratic Party using the late Wati as a political ploy. President of the party, Frankie Myers. I welcome all of you to this, the commemorating of the 88th birthday of the Honorable Dr. Claude Wati, and a man who was a visionary for St. Martin. And if any, any of you have read the book, Portraits of Power, there was a line in there where he stated that there were folks who said when they left St. Martin many years ago that they haven't built the boat that will bring them back to St. Martin as yet. And then he went on to say that now they're not coming back on boats, they're coming back on planes. But this gave you an insight of the man and everything was for his people. He was a man of the people. He was a very humble man. He drove a Volkswagen Bug um, for many years, and that was his car of choice because it was the car of the people. And we must never lose fact or lose sight the importance of the people around you and the people of your country. His political slogan for the Democratic Party, which he had for many years, was give light and people will move on. And even though that, that logo, that saying, is no longer part of that Democratic Party today, the light that he shone on St. Martin, it afforded us the life that we have here in St. Martin today. And we can be proud to say that we are St. Martiners, we can be proud to say that we are one island, one country, one destiny. But we can also be proud to say that we knew this man and this man belonged to us. And now he belongs to the ages. Thank you. Great words. A very outspoken Albert Wati made it clear that the United People's Party is the only party that has St. Martin's best interests at heart. Very, very pleased to be here today with just the UP Party. For years I have stood right there. Thank you. For years I've stood right here, side by side with all of the hypocrites from the Democratic Party. Standing there watching them supposedly honor Claude Wati, a man that they have thrown aside and only drag out like a rag doll during election time. A man who built the Democratic Party into the most powerful, proudest party ever in the history of our island. A feat that is soon going to be replaced by the UP Party, for sure. But I think today, breaking away from having the, the desperate party here in our midst, really and truly, like Frankie said, you know, you look at the DP today, the things that the old man stood for, the logo, the torch, give light and the people will move on. That has been removed from the Democratic Party, simply because there is no light coming from the Democratic Party. The other thing, the beacon, the beacon to steer St. Martin away from trouble, it has been removed. So I think today is a very, very fitting day for the UP Party to come forward and simply honor the old man for what he stood for. A man that if you were the small man in the street, you knew that when things got really bad, someone was looking out for you. 
And at the same time, when the big guys tried to push you around as a small man, they knew someone in the Democratic Party would rectify that situation. And I'm extremely happy to see the up party, only four years in life, move into the direction where I think everyone in St. Martin is going to be very, very proud and very, very happy to be part of the new undisputed champion in St. Martin, the UP Party. Thanks for coming here.